Uh, Jordan, October the 22nd, uh, sorry, 27th isn't it? 27th. Down at the Copper Box, you're fighting for the Commonwealth yep. against uh, Ryan Doyle. Yeah, big fight. It is, it is. There you go. Um, I've, I've spoke to Ryan about it, he's uh, <clears throat> well up for it, I yeah. presume you are yourself. Yeah, of course. And I, I was just checking out because I tend to just check out the people as and when you know we come up to them and uh, a, a cracking story. I mean, I, I think you you were injured. Well, no, you weren't injured, but you weren't fighting for about eighteen months. Yeah, Why I was that? I didn't box for eighteen months. A um, few fell through. Just, but I wasn't getting the fights. Um, the manager at the time wasn't doing a job for me, um, and I felt like I had to make a move. You know, I'm not in boxing to box. No, like nobody's yeah. and get no but nowhere. I want to box somebody's and get somewhere. Well, so, um, I watched one of your interviews with the AFL and you were talking about that. You yeah. said you were 18 and all, mm. but you weren't happy about it because you'd fought no one. You know those 18 people you should have beaten. Yeah. And uh, even though you had done, you weren't happy about it. You wanted to beat. You wanted to test yourself. Yeah, of course. I think the last three fights you've you've managed to do that because I think your last three fights have all had winning records. Right. And obviously, I think. Uh, Jason Cunningham being the, uh, uh, the 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 best guy you fought, really. Yeah, I think Jason Cunningham was the best guy I fought. You know, he, they're the sort of fights that I need at this stage of my career to uh, to learn. And I think every fight I am, I'm having, I'm learning. Whether I've got winning records or not, I've been learning and practicing what I do in the gym in the ring. I think that's what it's all about. And then when when you just do step up and fight a, a killer like Ryan Doyle, then um, you got that experience in the tank. Yeah, well, I mean, your record, uh, I think, what, you're 20, 21 and 0, uh, you've got five stoppages, so it suggests that perhaps you're not the biggest puncher. Oh, no, I can't dig, I just tap on oh, Hang on, no, this is what I'm saying. Hit, I think hit and run away and live <laughs> to fight another day. Uh, but uh, as good as those boxing skills are, <laughs> I think there is power there, because I watched, the, I'm not sure if it was your first knockout, a kid called Aaron Finn, and yeah. you KO'd him in the first round, it was a, it was a beautiful, beautiful shot. Yeah, I don't think he had a chin, so yeah, I, <laughs> uh, I think at the day, when, when you create power, a lot of the time, when, you, when you're a reaction fighter like me, is timing and speed, and I think when I get the timing and the speed right, and when I'm relaxed, then I do deliver a bit of power. Uh, well, they, again, this is another, another contradiction. You knocked out um, Jordan Nelson. Yeah. Now, Jordan has only been stopped four times. The three other people that have stopped him, their records suggest they are bangers. You know, Zelfa Barrett, that was one of his... I think he'd stopped 11 people in his last 12 fights before he come and stuck against uh, Ronnie Clark. Right. Um, and he stopped him in the first round. Mm -hmm. Next fight was against you, you stopped him in the second round. Prior to that, I think uh, Lewis Rickson, again, who's a, a, a guy who fights two ways above you, he stopped him. And then uh, the uh, David Oliver Joyce has stopped him. Now, these right. are all guys that have got big records for stopping people. And you just put yourself in that bracket. Yeah, well. Uh, that says it all. Then I'm 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 a knockout artist. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying, though. But it is it's deceiving you. So you look at your record, and it, it suggests that you know it's, you, on paper it says you haven't got power. Yeah. But actually, you must have because you've took some guys out who don't normally get took out, and if they do, it's normally by bigger punching guys. Yeah. I don't know if I got lucky or not, but you know, it was sometimes it happens, sometimes it don't. And you just gotta go in there and um, do what you do and then if it comes it comes if not you, you can't go looking for it because then it never comes mm. well you could say then you know like because that was his second knockout on the bounce and you yeah. think oh well jordan ellison well he might have you know passed his best yeah but he might be on the slide he wasn't because then he went on one on our shows and beats uh, colin day did he yeah in his next fight well done you. jordan <laughs> good lad and he's just gonna done six rounds with that uh, marco mcculloch who's did a it? giant and um Craig Evans, right. you know, who I think was European champion, wasn't he? So, you know, uh, yeah, it's it's deceiving. It's all the strength and conditioning you're doing, isn't it, man? I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, might be, might be uh, carrying my mum shopping around and get the old forearm grip going. Uh, you, what, are you half Indian then? I am half Indian, yeah. And I was reading uh, someone, I think it was Danny Flexton, who wrote a story about you and uh, where you grew up, you, like, uh, uh, you stood out like a sore thumb. Yeah, well, I think where I live is predominantly sort of white kids, so um, I'm half white myself, so not too much, but I was a little bit different. But it made you uh, become a good fighter? I guess so. Um, a lot of the kids in our area that um, boxed was all uh, travellers, and uh, 
you know they're strong kids mm-hmm. they're you know working from a young age and always like active and um, made me stronger so do you know much about Ryan then? not really no not a great deal I mean I've seen him um, I've seen him a couple of times I was ringside when he boxed uh, Reese Pilotti bit of an upset um, that wasn't it? yeah it was brilliant I, 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 I didn't expect it but I wasn't surprised um, mm. So it's it's uh, it was it was 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 it was what it was. You know, it was a, it was a brilliant performance. Um, they both put it all on the line. I was watching it as a fan, and I thought, yeah. wow, I was I was pleased with him because you know it's it's a good it's a good story, isn't it? I mean, I've obviously not lost, but I've not had the career that I've had I've wanted so far. Because uh, obviously I turned pro at a young age. Ryan Doyle turned pro at a young yeah, age. Did you ever fight so as a as a senior then? Uh, as I boxed. I could box as a senior, but not in championships. No. no um, because I've you won a lot as a as a junior and a youth and yeah, everything yeah. like that. But then yeah. you turned pro. What must have been eighteen years old? I was on my eighteenth birthday and I boxed seven days later. Why? Um, I was conned into it. <laughs> nah, I uh, I they just they offered it to me and and I took it. Um, I weren't really that bothered about amateur boxing. Right. Um, I just did it. Because I but did your it. style would suit the amateur game. Um, yeah, boxing you, is, I mean, that's what you do. You box yeah, really, really, really well. Yeah, that's why I won the ABAs. <laughs> but um, it is what it is. Just um, I, it happens. Obviously, you, you don't always have the start that you want. I've not had the career that I've wanted so far. I'm trying to change it now. Um, I'm sure Ryan Doyle would have liked a different uh, start as well. Yeah, yeah. And he's he's come up the hard way. He's had hard fights. Oh, he might have lost one or two, but now he's back in the mix and he's won a title. And for me, that's more impressive than seeing a kid come out of the amateurs with like gold medals here, there, and everywhere, and then going on and expecting to win. Mm-hmm. And just got a death stare from Anthony Fowler. But um, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with GB at all. It's a great setup. But um, I mean, for me, like what Ryan Doyle has done, I love, I love to see it. Yeah. So I was happy for him. Well, he's been a pro a long time. I think mm. this is his ninth year as a professional now. He turned over. I think he was just eighteen, between eighteen and nineteen. Yeah. Uh, like you say, he's, he's big at the weight. You're big at the weight as well. Do you think? I think so. Yeah. You're not yeah. particularly small. Eh? He's a featherweight. Uh, I've got big ankles. <laughs> but um, uh, Ryan, I think his biggest problem has been, you know, getting time for the fights. And as he was given seven weeks preparation for the fight with uh, Reese Blotty, he went yeah. in that fight very, very confident. Yeah. Um, and now he's managed to make him a full-time pro, Brilliant. which, as I think he's been, I say, eight years, nine years, and this is the first year that he's been a professional fighter. Yeah. So I know it's going to be a great fight, and I think it's a great little mini tournament because mm-hmm. as you and yourself are boxing off, uh, you're boxing for the Commonwealth, you know, trying to win his title, and then you've got uh, Isaac Lowe and Ryan Doyle <coughs> fighting for the British, and then the winners of those fights meet one another. Yeah. So it puts the winner of these next two fights in a fantastic position yeah it does so it's all there the path's there you just got to do it um, and that's what it's all about uh, nobody nobody's gonna get an easy ride because they're all hard fights definitely um, and you know you, we will understand that and we're putting it all in line that's what it's all about so if we win then it's good then uh, we move on well you're the baby of the bunch I am yeah I'm 24 years old yeah and everyone else has got a couple of years on you at least yeah um, so I mean, you would be in a fantastic position. As I said, the the four people that are ranked above you lot uh, are all world class. So mm-hmm. I mean, it puts you one or two steps away from being in the mix with them lot. Yeah. And what a fantastic position that to be I in. Know, again. Yeah, there's some great names in the featherweight division. So you know, the the UK is a hotbed for featherweights. It is. Um, there's some big names in there: Carl Frampton, Scott Quigg, Kid Gallard, Josh Warrington. Um, they're all top top fires. Well, obviously that fight's happening now before Christmas. Is it? Um, we're not sure exact date yet, but right. it's going to be happening before Christmas. Uh, as a featherweight yourself, who do you think between Josh Warrington and Cal Frampton? I think if you look at the fighters stylistically, um, for me, as a fan, I'd, I'd prefer to watch Frampton, um, and I think he's probably the better fighter all round. But I think timing's everything in boxing. I think Josh Warrington's got a bit of momentum. He's world champion now. He's massive. He's strong, um, and he's got an engine like no one else. So um, <laughs> you know he'll keep coming. I think I think he could beat. I could think he could pull off an upset against well, Frampton. Do you know something? You know most people give uh, Frampton as a massive favourite in that fight. Do they? But I think 
I think it's a genuine 50 50 is, fight now. It is, it's all on the line, you know, they're both at a stage of career where it, it's, it's down to them, isn't it? So, um, you know, Frampton's good. I think he's brilliant. I think he's looked brilliant in the last couple of fights, and um, he's, he's obviously still got it. And uh, it's, it's just a case of who's better on the night, I think. Well, you know, I was, we talk about favourites and everything. Um, I was talking to quite a few people about your fight with uh, Ryan Doyle. Yeah. A lot of people are tipping you to win this fight. Yeah. I thought it, I'd be a heavy underdog. What? No, after his, after I would have thought of that after that, but I think everyone thinks that was a bit of a blip. Do you on, reckon? Uh, by, well, no, I don't, but I mean, I think uh, it, uh, it proves how, how, how highly people think of your boxing skills. Wow, that's a, that's a compliment. I'm, I'm flattered. Um, but, you know, I think everybody knows it's a hard fight. It's going to be hard in, in different aspects for both of us. I think. Um, if Ryan Doyle rematched Reese Bellotti, I think the same result would happen. Um, I think he's a very good fighter. Uh, I've got a tremendous amount of respect for him, and I respect what he, what, where he's come from, what, what he's achieved. But, um, you know, it's, it's all on the line, and I'm going to do everything I, in my powers to beat him. Right. Well, we'll leave it on that note. And uh, as uh, Ryan Doyle's uh, our fighter, Alex says, "May the best man win." Thank you very much. Take care, Jordan. You Thanks see. a lot, mate. Thank <laughs> you.